This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi guys, Rachie Bob here. Welcome to this video all about balconies in The Sims Mobile. So balconies are coming with this latest update. Check out the full update details in my update schedule video. There's a link in the description. So balconies, they're being added. This is a tutorial I'm going to go through now, which is very kindly being recorded for me. We did get to play through it, we weren't able to record, so the gurus have very kindly recorded it for us. And I will go through it with you, and then I'll show you the balconies in my game. So here it starts. Are those balconies? Let's check them out. I can place balconies from here and then you go ahead and unlock the balconies from there and it costs so handy to have videos like this so you can see how much things are going to cost and start saving now balconies behave much like rooms you can choose their position as well as which floor they are on there are also more than rooms let's switch to the wall toggle mode now you can now position the balcony when you're ready let's switch to wall toggle mode here you can see it on the bottom right there. Uh, this lets you change the wall type. Tap on the glowing walls or railings of your balcony. Good, notice how you change the wall type. Do it again. And one last time, tap on a wall barrier or edge arrow of your balcony. I hope you are starting to see the creative possibilities. You can select placed balconies from the build mode balconies menu. Now it's your turn, have fun. Let's have fun, shall we? I am going to go through the FAQ with you guys as well. And some of the barrier styles that I show you will be from packs and the quest. So, you know, check out that update schedule video to see, see where it's from if that's something that you want to get your hands on. So the balcony FAQ, I'll put a link in the description so you can see it in written form, either on the official site or my site. We're excited to introduce the new balcony mode. Susu, we just got the permit to build balconies in Briny Heights. Make your houses stand out with the balconies of your dreams. Recreate iconic moments from your favorite stories or play out your own memorable adventures in the new balconies update. This FAQ will help you get the most out of the balconies update. So what I'll do is go through everything actually in the game as they say it. So question, what is the new balcony feature? The brand new feature enables you to add balconies to your dream builds. Choose from a variety of balconies with roof, without roof, you can see them here, or different wall arrangements. And barrier styles, barrier styles refer to the design of the balustrades, railings, etc. Okay, so let's, for example, these are all the balconies, these are the prices down below. Let's unlock this first one for 6,000 simoleons. Let's place it. Once you've unlocked it, it costs you for the next one. That's how much. And now it just says earned. So, and, and now it says 6,000. I don't, I, I don't know how that works. Um, and I find them so difficult to actually change. Like that, I'm trying to tap and drag and it's just so hard. I mean, it's not as hard as glitching it but it is not great I'm trying to move them and change them I don't know what's going on here let me try again okay it's a place I mean the prices are all over the place I don't know what's going on I'd love to do a chat or be given some information there but you know I don't know what's going on this is me just it's 10,000 now who knows I'm gonna ask about that but whether I'll get a response before this goes live i don't know it does say for these um balcony styles so the holiday cabin balcony the first one the roofed holiday cabin balcony they both require you to be at level five the fortress balcony and the roofed fortress balcony require you to be level 10 and the bubblegum pop balcony and the roofed bubblegum pop balcony require you to be level 20. So bear that in mind as well. I will put all this over on my blog. But yeah, the prices, zero idea what's happening and also not, not great functionally. But yeah, those are the balconies you can have them attached, not attached, it doesn't matter. 
you've got complete freedom there. Once you have a balcony, you can customize, resize it, move across floors, just like any build by room. So it works like a room, you can go up, you can go up again, whatever you want to do, resize it potentially. Oh, I mean, yeah, okay, that's working now. Uh, okay, so it pops in a little bit and you just have to persist and keep dragging. Okay, that's not too bad. And then this wall toggle mode at the bottom, apply to one side. Yeah, so that's how you get rid of the wall. That to me isn't super intuitive as well, but now after seeing that tutorial, I get it. So you can have nothing, tap again, it brings the barrier, tap again, it gives the wall. Tap again, goes away. Oh, I've tapped the wrong thing, but there we go. You can just make it whatever you need it to be. Just by tapping. So we'll just make it a platform so they can just jump off the end and end their lives. And then you can tap all sides as well and it'll put, you know, it's just a room. <laughs> so like my new balcony. Um, anyway, let's leave it like that. Essentially, this is a room and that's how it works. But it's going to cost you a lot more. Anyway, let's place that. I'm not bitter. Next question. How do I get access to balconies? Well, balconies are available in the build by mode for all players and can be unlocked from level five onwards. Enter the build menu, tap on the balconies catalog. You'll find it next to rooms like we've just done. That's to unlock your first balcony. Also tap on the barrier styles catalog, which if we come out here. This is the barrier styles catalog to explore different customization options for your balconies. Next question is, what is a barrier style? How do I get more styles? Barrier styles refer to railings, parapets, balustrades, fences, etc. It's the only kind of pets we're getting. That can be used to personalize your balcony. Choose from a variety of options like a cool metal railing in black or fancy marble balustrade in white and transform your balcony to make it your own. So here's our balcony. We can tap royalty metal railing and then we can tap on here. We can apply it to the whole room or we can just switch it to just the wall and we can change the colour. But we can't change the colour of just the wall. We have to change the colour of the room. Okay, I'll go through those swatches soon. But yeah, so basically now I've selected that, I can change it to wall and tap it. And that makes it just that wall. Now if I switch it to pink, it's still just to that wall. Um, let me just try this. So if I get springy planters, change it to that wall, then go here and tap it there and change that colour, change the whole thing. Okay, so you can't have different colours on different walls. And we can't, you know, why we're just calling it walls, It, you know. It's kind of lazy. I'm, I'm glad that they're putting it in, um, but it's like putting in that parasol and having it turn on and turn off instead of open and close. It's cutting corners just to get things in quick. I think they're desperate to keep players around. And uh, yeah, I would rather have this feature than not, but I'd also like it to be done properly. This is, <laughs> this is a game by a huge company and it's kind of embarrassing. But then it says you can apply a different barrier style to each wall of your balcony. Can you? Can you? So if I put that on, oh, that's locked. Oh no, it's not locked. And then I want to put that one there. Yes, I can. Oh, that's quite cool. So I could have different colours, different styles of balcony, but I can't have different colours of the same balcony, I don't think. I'm going to try it again. So let's try that one in that colour and then go back to it and get it in that colour. Okay, that's how you would do it. So you can have a different colour. You just have to come out and go back in. Good to know. Oh, it does say as well, um, you can also choose from different colour swatches for each barrier style. Feeling spoiled for choice already? Unleash your imagination and mix and match the available combination to create the balcony of your dreams. You can collect additional barrier styles from quests or get them from the store. Let me tell you what we've got. Okay, so here we've got the simply wooden fence, which is this one. Let me pop this here. Uh, well, it's already on there. Yeah, we got this in six different colours. Just got it on the front patch there. You can see the prices as well. And that's unlocked with that balcony style. But you will have to pay for each of the colour variants. So be aware of that. Then we have the concrete vintage barrier. The concrete vintage barrier, which is this one. That also is in six different colours. It also is unlocked with a room style, which I'll show you soon. But again, locked colour variants 
thousand simoleons each. Something to be aware of. And stylish glass railing, this one. This is also in six different colours. Again, locked colour variants. This comes with the bubblegum pot balcony style. Um, the previous one came with the fortress balcony style uh, and, and the roofed versions of those. Uh, a thousand simoleons for each colour swatch. And we've also got LTOs, which I've covered in my update schedule video. But here's three of the styles that you get with those packs. This is one of them. One percenter railing in six different colour swatches. If you buy that pack, uh, you'll get this in all its different colour swatches. Lovely. I'll go over here now. And the royalty metal railing in six different colours. Also from an LTO. And the springy planters barrier also from an LTO. That was beautiful. And then Bella's Balcony Quest will get you the gilded metal railing, different colour swatches which I can show you because we haven't actually had the quest in our game. And this crisscrossed wooden fence in these colour swatches. You'll get all the swatches with that quest. You won't have to pay any extra. It's just the ones that unlock with these balcony styles that you have to pay for. Next question is, how do I change the barrier style or colour of my balcony barriers? So you've seen it. Tap on build by build barrier styles to find the catalogue of unlocked barrier styles. Select a barrier style from the catalogue, tap on any barrier in your home lot to remove the old barrier style and apply the new selection to the side of the wall. You can also change the colour using the colour widget on the left. Colour widget. Um, how can I turn walls into barriers? Choose the wall you want to modify and press the room sizing slash wall toggle button on the bottom right of the screen to switch to the wall toggle tool. We've seen that. Wonderful. You just tap in it there. Any or multiple sides of the balcony to switch between full wall, open edge and barrier. Use your imagination to design different combinations of balconies. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool way to do it that you wouldn't really get if, you, if they hadn't released it in this way, I guess. Next. Can I move a balcony up to my new floor levels? Yes, you can move a balcony up and down floors by selecting it and pressing the floor widget at the bottom right of the screen under the room sizing wall mode toggle. You can also make your balconies float midair if you want to. I do. I actually do. Oh, you can customize your balcony's barriers after it's placed. A barrier style lets you quickly apply a look and colour to a barrier in your home lot. Let me show you where you can find barrier styles. I, I just did it, love. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Here they are. They work just like applying interior and ex exterior wall textures on walls. Pick your style and then tap on any barriers on your home lot. Easy. Thanks. Can I place staircases on my balcony? This is very cool. Yes, balconies work much like any other room. They can have stairs leading to a room above or below. I was very happy to find this out. So stairs, let's just get this one. Now obviously you need to make sure it's big enough and you've got something above and below. But if we were to have this balcony, that's, yeah, okay, there. I can place that there and then as you can see, I have a staircase leading up to my balcony. It's very easy, I just made it look really hard. Can I place a balcony right against another balcony or room? For the most part, yes. You cannot place a barrier against any other room and open edges can only connect with other open edges. So let's build a room so we can experience this. So when I place this, I can only place it behind something like this, I believe. Wait, what? So if I have a room here and then I go and get a balcony, let's get the next one along. I want to drag it out, it always pops in. You can see I can't have it connecting to that other balcony. I can have it like that though. 
sure. So now that balcony is on there. I mean, you can do anything with this. Look at that mess I've created. That kind of just sparks creativity. I love it. I think it's so weird having a, a balcony with a roof, but you know, it, you don't have to, so it's not a big deal. I does say open edges can connect with other open edges, so I'm not sure why I couldn't get that to work there. It's definitely easier to go up into bird's eye view. So I should be able to get that to connect there, I think, but I can't. Hmm. I mean, oh, that's not an open edge. Maybe I can put this here. No, here. I actually figured this out and tried to demonstrate it. Basically, like it says, you just remove the walls and the actual bal balcony rail. Then you can connect two together. So to make like a bridge or something like that, a big platform, whatever you want to make, which is really cool. But I found it so buggy and so difficult to do. This is what I ended up with. I have no idea how it happened. And it was honestly impossible to drag the rooms out to move them it was really tough and not a fun experience hopefully they get that figured out for the future there's also some fun animations with these so you can relax on the balcony which is the best one i think having a cup of tea love that just watching the world go by taking the view should they just stand there and take a selfie on the balcony, which is kind of cool. So you could make some kind of tourist attraction and have them stood there taking a selfie from it. Pretty neat. I'm gonna check about that um, connecting rooms issue. But yes, apart from that, I think that's everything. Let me just show you the remaining balconies. So we've got the fortress balcony, which is this one. And you can see the prices as I'm placing these. Um, for some reason the actual balconies seem to keep costing money. And maybe this is maybe it's an error. Oh no. Now now they're all costing me. I really don't understand the pricing. Yeah, so that's the roofed version. It's just generic roof. And obviously you can put things on these balconies as well. You can put anything on them, but certain things like columns and stuff don't go to the edge. I'll show you in a minute, that is some feedback that we've given them. For some reason that's popped in there but it won't place. So there's the bubblegum one and oh that has connected to that side which is wonderful. That's the roofed one, the roofed version of that. And yeah you can place things on them even if it's a toilet it's totally fine as long as it's against a wall. And oh my goodness, I've spent all my sim cash and simoleons. How much did I start with? Wow. And the columns supports. Uh, they they go in them, but they don't go up to the edge. So you can put them in. Um, that's how they look, but they don't go like flush to the edge. The price of the balconies makes no sense to me and I could understand if it went up or down incrementally but it doesn't seem to do that and as I have progressed with them and placed a ton as you can see it has then started to go down incrementally and level out at 4,800 simoleons for the non-roofed ones and 15,000 for the roofed ones but that took a lot of placement and Placing one seemed to affect all of them price-wise, so I really don't know and I can't get a proper answer. I've asked for a price chart and I was told that it varies based on the levels. Um, so the official response was price chart is set based on what level you unlock it and how it appears in the build by menu instead of being sorted by price. I, I have no idea what that means. I mean hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Not to mention how unbelievably expensive they are anyway. But yeah if you have any questions about this, uh, the ones that I can hopefully answer, please do let me know. Look at that. Amazing. Um, I'll try my best to answer them for you or to get an answer for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed this new feature. I think it's great. It definitely does have flaws, but uh, flaws. 
but I am grateful that we've had it because it opens up a lot of building opportunities and I know you guys will do awesome things with it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.